This is the Smoky Bear Historical Park and Museum. So we're gonna go check it out. This is where the original Smoky Bear is buried. Here within sight of the mountain where he was found orphaned by a fire raging in the Lincoln National Forest. Heather's gonna tell us about the history of Smokey the Bear. They found him May 19th, 1950. He had lived with the forest fighters for about a week. He lived off water and chocolate. That's oh. what they had, so that's what they gave him. Um, he oh. was burnt from the, the hole underneath, his butt, his belly, oh. his paws. He lived with the Ray Bell family, which was the game warden at the time. Uh. And his daughter and his son and Mrs. Bell. They wanted oh. the living symbol looking at the poster bear because the poster bear came before the living symbol. The uh -huh. poster bear was named after a firefighter who had passed away in New York City and his name was Smokey Joe. So that's where the name Smokey came from. This picture right here is the actual gap, which is the mountains right behind the bank. If you look at the bank and the mountains right behind it, that's the gap. That's where it all the started. The gap. It's where the East Mountains and the West Mountains come together. Okay. So this is the actual, right after it all happened, you have game morning, Ray Bell on your left, and um, Dean Earl on your right, sorry. This picture right here is Smokey and Judy Bell. Now all the pictures that you see him that close to Judy, they had to put honey to get him to come that close. So him and Judy became friends. He tolerated Judy. He did not like Ray Bell's son, and he did not <laughs> like Ray Bell. Because if Dr. Smith was doing, wasn't doing the bandages, they were doing the damage. Yeah. He didn't like the boys. He liked Judy. Him and Judy would play huh. all the time. So they had kept him in because he was a wild animal. They couldn't let him go. He would have ran off. So they kept him in, fed him with the dog, treat him like a family member. They figured Smokey was well enough to fly him to Washington, D.C. to the National Zoo. They flew him all the way up in a crop dusting plane. Now, Ian Earl, which was our forest ranger back then, flew him all the way up in the crop dusting plane on his lap. Oh, look at that. They always wore oh. gloves, and they always had a dog leash on him. Just a normal, oh. regular dog leash. He was about three months in that picture, where he had lived for 26 years, which is a very long time for bears. They only lived 10 to 12 in a while. Wow. So he had died of old age, went to sleep one day, and just never woke back up. At the age of 12, he was over 500 pounds. So when he died, November 9th, 1976... He was flown from Washington, D.C. to Albuquerque. You had state police, forest service, all that around the plane for the spotlights. <laughs> Unload a 400-pound casket. Wow. Yes, he was a he was in a ca He was in a casket, huh? Yes, he was in a casket. Wow. So they, and then about three months later, they started on the walk wall to make sure that this is where he is laid to rest. This mm. is his resting spot. So he is next door. And then that case over there is nothing but... The bears. How old was Smokey when he died? Twenty six. Yeah. What kind of bear is Smokey? Black bear. Yep. How many smoky bears have there been? Three. Where was smoky bear found? Captain. Captain Mountains in New Mexico. Isn't that cute? Did you know that Smokey has his own zip code? By 1964, Smokey was so popular that he was given his own secretary and postal zip code to manage his mail. The President of the United States is the only other individual with his own zip code. So this is where Smokey the Bear is buried. See this says Smokey Bear. Mm -hmm. Is it Smokey the Bear or Smokey Bear? Anyway. Smokey was honored as the first bear to become a full-fledged member of the National Association of Retired Federal Employees. I wonder if he got a pension. He died when he was 26 in his sleep. <laughs>